The tutorial today is how to use uh, um, key light in Adobe After Effects. I've import the footage, footage I'm gonna use. Both both of them I have found on Google. I'm gonna start with dragging the green screen footage down to a new comp. And here you can see. I found this on Google. I searched on green screen. Yeah. I start by adding a hue and saturation to this image just to bring up the color a bit so it gets a stronger green. Not so much, but something like that. And then I'm gonna add key light. Okay, key light is a plugin to Adobe After Effects. Most of the people who had uh, After Effects um, have key light, so and it's a great plugin. So if you don't have it, get it. Okay, so, click on this the eyedropper here. <coughs> Sorry, and just select the color green. As you can see, it has done a pretty good job now. But I'm gonna look on the screen mat in the view here, and it doesn't look the best, but pretty good. We want all person to be whole white, and the green screen should be whole black you see it's some white edges here and black edge on them how we can fix that is go on down here to screen mat bring up to black a bit so the whole image gets black and then we can drag down the white a bit Something like this. Yeah, something like this. Then we go to final result again. And then we can add some screen blur to this. It's always help a bit. And what we're gonna do then is just gonna click down this and drag the background. Are also found on Google, just a street. As you can see, and I'm just going to resize it to, so it fits to the screen here, something like that. And as you can see, we have pretty good result, but uh, the color on them doesn't match the background, and I also gonna do that. So let's select this green screen. I'm actually gonna rename it to green screen. Green screen. And rename this to background. BG. Okay. Select the green screen. Go to effects. Hue and saturation. And I'm just gonna drag down the saturation a bit now. Something like that. Then I'm gonna add levels to these two. And try to match the color, as I said. It looks pretty good there. But if you have, you can go to animation presets and film Magic Pro if you have that. You can buy it on videocopilot.com or oh, .net. Anyway, uh, click there and cinema styles. I have all here. First, before we add a preset to this image, we're gonna create a new layer. Oh. New layer and an adjustment layer. So, and just drag your color correction you want to use to this. And then add a nice looking. As you can see, 
we have a pretty good green screen. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And um, I'm just gonna say goodbye.